Welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section and today we have quantitative reasoning from Lantern Step Book 5, page 13. Thank you for joining in today and to our new viewers, please subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solution solutions and problems. Okay, so we have 2, 3, 9, 3, 4, 64. And here we have 1, 9, and 9. All right, so we're going to solve this. Okay, so to find this 9, to find 9, we we'll simply have this 3 into two places, right? So we're going to have 3 into 2, that's 3 times 3. And 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, so let's try that for this. To find 64, we're going to have 4 into 3 places. So we have 4 times 4 times 4. And 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Okay, so we're going to the next. To find... 2 this 2 so we're going to have a uh, 3 so we're going to have a uh, 3 equals a uh, 9 but then we're going to write it in index format okay so a uh, 3 equals 9 we're going to change this 9 so 3 equals 3 to the power of what would give you, so 3 to the power of x, and this is 3 to the power of y, 1, right? We have just 1, 3 here, which is 3 to the power of 1, and here we have 9, so it's 3 to the power of 2. So 3 to the power of 2 gives us 9, which means 3 times 3 is 9. So we can cross this out. So here we have uh, 2. So next we have to find... So to find uh, 3... This one, we're going to have x to the power of 2, right, equals 9. So, our x to the power of 2 equals, we're going to take this one to the power of 2, and we're going to have 3 to the power of 2, because... 3 into 2 places gives us 9. Okay, so we can cancel out the powers which are actually equivalent. So we have x equals 3. Okay, so let's do the same for this. So let's find 3 here. So to find 3, right? So we're going to have a uh, 4 equals is equal to 64, right? So our 4, we want to make this one. We want to convert this one to have this base. So we have our 4 to the power of 3. Okay, because 4 into 3 places would give us 64. So we can cancel this and we have a 3. So to find 4, we have a x to the power of 3 here equals 64, right? So x to the power of 3 equals 64. Let's change 64 to have the power of 3. So we have our 4 
to the power of 3. So we can cancel this. So our x is 4. That's how we got our 4. All right. So do well to like, share, subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and problems. Bye.